Good morning. Welcome to Home Yoga. It's still dark here where we are. I'm Terry. And I'm Kate. And let's get started. Let's get your morning started right. If you're practicing in the morning, we promise to energize you. Make your way into child's pose. Bring your knees wide. Reach your arms out long in front of you. Spread your fingers wide. Send your hips back over your heels. Drop your forehead to the mat or to a block. Start to deepen your breath. Long, slow inhales. And exhale and reach your hips a little bit closer to your heels. Use your inhale to pull your shoulders back. Draw your shoulder blades together. Use your exhale to reach your hips back over your heels. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, press up to your hands and knees. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Knees underneath your hips. Pull your belly button up into your spine. Nice long neck looking forward. And prep, tuck your toes under. Press back to downward facing dog. Your heels are reaching toward the mat. They don't have to be there. Bend your elbows. Bend your knees. Walk out your dog a little by bending one knee, pressing the other heel toward the mat. Bending the other knee, pressing the other heel toward the mat. Soft elbows, soft knees, long arms reaching forward. Press your hands towards the mat, into the mat, and forward as you send your hips back. Your gaze is between your feet. Big breath in, send your breath out. One more, just like that, big breath in, exhale, come on to your tiptoes and walk lots of little steps up to the top of your mat. Take your feet hips distance apart so that you can place two fists between your feet. Bring your hands to your mat. Take a halfway lift, like a figure seven. Look down, take another inhale in, fold, breathe out, release your hands. Reach all the way up, big breath in, reach for the ceiling. Hands to heart center, breathe out. Get grounded in your feet, lift your kneecaps, drop your tail, send your gaze right out in front of you. Set an intention for the way you want to feel as you, your practice ends and your day begins. Reach out, breathe in, bow, breathe out. Halfway lift, big breath in. Pull your belly button up into your spine, hands to your mat, step your right foot back, step your left foot back, come to a high plank, or come onto your knees. Press away from your hands, lift your core up into your spine, shift your weight forward, bring your elbows to graze the sides of your body, all the way down your mat or chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, lift your heart, take a back bend, Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, hips back. Dristy to your feet, gaze. Gaze is dristy, dristy is gaze. Look between your feet. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth this time, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, look to your hands. This time, coil back, either step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, big breath in. Bow empty. Root to rise, reach up, breathe in. Look up and back a little bit this time. Bow, all the air out, hands to your mat. Halfway lift again, pull your hips back. 
High plank to low. Again, you can come to your knees, you can come to your belly, take it either a cobra or an upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breathe out. Take a big breath in, empty. On empty, step your right hand, your right foot to your right hand. Turn your back toes out a little bit. Press into your feet to rise up, warrior one. Breathe in, breathe out, press into your feet. Pull your right hip back. Left hip comes slightly forward. Core lifted up towards your heart. Reach up and go back just a little bit. Hands to your mat. Right foot left. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps on empty. Press down, reach up, warrior one on the left side. Use your inhale to reach up. Let your exhale press you a little deeper into the pose. Reach up, take a little bit of a back bend. Hands to your mat. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale. Exhale. This time bring your toes to touch. Look forward. Step or fly in front of your mat. Take a halfway lift. Fold. Raise your fingertips on the floor and have a seat with the tasana. Lift your toes. Press into your heels and the balls of your feet. Reach up. Sit lower. Reach again. Breathe out. Fold. Take a big breath in, halfway lift, and come to your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breath in, downward facing dog, breath out. Speaking of dogs, we're going to be joined by Kaya, right foot forward. You saw her yesterday, warrior one. Breathe in, hands to your mat. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left foot steps, warrior one again. Reach up, breathe in. Hands to your mat and you flow. Up dog, down dog. Step or fly to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. Utkatasana, one breath this time. Bow empty. Half lift, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Right foot steps, warrior one. Inhale to come up, open up to warrior two. Square your back foot against the back of your mat. Sit down into it. Reach your fingers front, reach your fingers back. Make sure your right knee is coming out over your right pinky toe. Sit as low as you can, inhale to reverse. Look up at your right palm. Stay for an exhale, press down into your right leg. Reach up again, window your hands to your mat. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Warrior two. Sit down into it. Inhale, reverse. Sit a little lower. Reach up and back. Hands to your mat. And you flow. Up dog, downward facing dog. Bring your toes to touch. Walking about four inches closer to the front of your mat. Lift your right leg straight back. You can look back and make sure that your pinky toe is going straight down. Now bend your knee, stack your right hip 
over your lap. Press equally into both arms. And you can stay here or you can flip your dog. If you flip, make sure your feet are hips distance apart. You press them down to reach up and back. Come on back over if you flipped. Bring your right hand to your mat. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat and come into side plank, shifting your weight onto your right hand and the outside of your right foot. Flex your toes. Look up at your left hand. Lift your left leg if that's available to you. Keep pressing your hips up higher. Come on back over to high plank. Shift forward, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Again, toes to touch, shorten your stance. Left leg to the sky, this time on an inhale. Bend your knee. Stack your left hip over your right. And again, an option to flip or stay. Use your breath to create a deeper pose. Always let your breath bring the pose rather than the other way around. One more inhale. As you exhale, come back. Bring your feet together. Come down your left hand this time. On the left side of your left foot, reach up. Press down to lift away. Take another inhale and another exhale. Hands to your mat. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, step a fly to the front of your mat. Half lift, fold, rise all the way up, reach up. We're going to come into eagle, so right leg comes over left, right arm comes under left. <laughs> if you lose your balance, just come right left a little bit about it, come right back in. Send your tailbone down, find a little bend in your knees. Lift your elbows to the front of the room. Press into your standing foot. Now just unravel your arms. Send them back. Send your right leg back, airplane. You're lifting your heart as an up dog. Your pinky toes coming down on your right foot. And you're using your right foot to press back and lift your heart forward. Come back to standing, Tadasana. Same thing on the left, left leg over, left arm under. Palms to touch, bent knees, squeezing thighs together. Breathe into it, set your drishti, maybe between that little loop that's made at your wrists, your gaze. Gaze and drifting, one spot, one soft spot. Unravel, come into airplane. Send your left leg back. Press it back like it's pressing through a back wall. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. See if you can square your hips. One more big breath in while your plane's having some turbulence. <laughs> and come to standing. Hands at your sides. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> Let's come into tree. So plant your left foot. Bring your right leg anywhere inside your right leg except your knee. So it can be at your ankle, at your shin, or inside your inner thigh. Hands at first to heart center. Really press your foot against your leg. Your Leg back, your left leg back into your right foot. Reach your arms for the sky. Imagine that your foot is rooted into the ground and your branches are reaching high. Hug everything into the midline of your body. Express out one more big breath. Maybe go back a little bit. Hands to heart 
center, bring your right foot down. Other side, left leg. Now, if you want to bring your leg all the way up into your thighs, I use my hand to do that. Press against your inner thigh with your foot. Get nice and tall. Reach through your side body. Reach your arms up. Use your inhale to reach tall. Your exhale to ground. Inhale to reach. Exhale to ground. Maybe a little reach up and back. Use your drisky. Use your gaze along the ceiling. And come back to standing. Take a big breath in. Look up. Reach up. Hands to your mat. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Now look to your hands. Bend your knees. I'm not going to promise this is going to be pretty. Jump through your hands. Come onto your back and lie down for bridge. It'll get easier every time. Feet hips distance apart. Feel that your middle finger's grazing your heels. It's a nice distance. You want your knees over your heels. Press into your feet. Reach your hips up. Clasp your hands underneath your back and open up your collarbones. Nice front body opener. Press into your heels to lift your hips higher. Bring your chest to your chin and just breathe. Nice long neck. Nice heart opener for the morning. Or maybe you're practicing in the evening. Works either way. Come on down. And as you inhale, exhale, press up again. Either you can come to another bridge, or you might bring your hands back behind you. If wheel is in your practice, press into your feet. Press through your hands. Draw your shoulder blades together. And press up into wheel. So I lift bridge your wheel, breathing in, dropping your head, breathing out. Let your inhale and your exhale move you here. One more breath. And as you exhale, slowly come down, lengthen up your neck, upper back, middle back, lower back. Supta Baddha Konasana with your soles of your feet touching. Knees splayed out. One hand can be on your belly, one hand on your heart. Feel how invigorated those back bends made you this morning. Let your breath even out, slow down a little bit. Now, if this doesn't feel good on your hips, the other option is feet. I like feet edges of the mat, knees knocked in. It'll give you the same. Benefit, you're just slowing down your breath. Let's come into happy baby. Reach through your legs, reach to the outsides of your feet. Draw your knees down towards your mat, towards your armpits. Press your feet into your hands. You can find stillness here, or you can rock side to side, whatever feels good. And then release your feet, send them straight up into the air, bring your palms underneath your bottom. Flex your toes back at your face. Press your belly button into your mat and lower your legs as far as you can, pushing your feet out until your belly button comes up off the mat. Go to whatever level you can. Take a breath here. Really engage your core. Use your core to lift your feet back up. As you exhale, let's do that again. Just press your belly button down to your spine. Keep your spine glued to your mat. Go as low as you can. Let's take a little bit of a bounce with your feet just for five, four, three, two, one. Use your core to bring your legs back up. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. 
Rock yourself forward to downward facing dog. We're going to do my favorite pose, which is a half pigeon hip opener. Lift your right leg to the sky. Now Kate's going to keep doing this. She's going to bring her knee to the right side of her right wrist. And you can watch her come into half pigeon. And if you find that that's not working for you, you can follow along with me. Come onto your back. Plant your feet like you're in bridge. Bring your right ankle across your above your left knee. Reach through that little triangle that's created. Grab a hold of your back of your left, your left hamstring or your left shin. And then just use your elbow to gently nudge your right hip open. If you're in half pigeon, make sure that your back leg is going straight back underneath you. Your right foot is flexed, and either way, you should feel this nice opening happening in your right hip. We hold a lot of our energy, our stored stuff in our hips, for lack of a better word. And we're helping to ease it out, opening through our hips. Good, if you're where I am, just place your feet down change sides. If you were Kate, is press back to downward facing dog. You can lift your right leg up, bend and stack and open it, and then take it to the other side. You fold all the way down. See how much you can let go here by just breathing deeply into this release of your left hip. You're going to start to open it up more and more the more you practice that pose. Again, this is what I'm doing is a very good option. Flex your feet. I need to remind myself. Take deep breaths. Know that this is always a practice and you're never going to get it perfect. You never have to. You just need to come to your mat and practice. Again, if you're where Kate is, Go ahead and push back up to downward facing dog. If you're where I am, just hug your knees into your chest. And then I just want you to make your way to a seat with your legs extended out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Flex your toes back towards your face. You're just going to lean forward with your chest, sending your hips back, and it doesn't matter wherever you grab your legs, wherever it feels natural to just grab your legs, just let yourself fold with your chest. You should feel this nice stretch in your low back, and when you get to a place where you feel like that's, that's a good edge and a nice place to stop, just tuck your chin into your chest. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Nice counter to your hip openers. Come on up. And then you have an option to come into just what we call lights up the wall by just lying back. You can do what I'm doing by flexing your feet or you can take shoulder stand. As Kate's demonstrating, press your hands into your hips, lift your legs. What you want to do in shoulder stand is bring your feet a little bit closer to the front of the room. You really feel that in your arms. Where I am, you're just letting your back lower down into the mat, press through your feet, inverting, getting the blood flowing the other way. It feels nice. Great thing to do at the beginning of the day, great thing to do at the end of the day. Flex your toes back at your face, whichever pose you're in. Kate has an option to come into plow by sending her legs back over her head. And then she can bring her knees to her ears, her forehead if she likes. Take a couple breaths here, and then simply roll all the way out, one vertebra at a time. Lower yourself out onto your mat. Take your time. Plant your feet wide, edges of your mat. Take your arms out wide to a T. Just let your knees fall to the left. 
Your gaze can stay right where it is, looking at the ceiling, or it can turn to the right. Make sure your shoulder blades are pressed into your mat. Nice spinal stretch. Take a couple deep breaths here. Come back to center. And just simply let your legs go the other way. Your seat can remain up or out to the side. Breathing into this opening, this stretch through your spine. Slowing down your breath. Come back to center. And let everything go, including your breath and your intentional breath. Just release your arms at your sides. Oh, sigh yourself down into your mat, Shavasana. Rest. Watch your breath as it rises in your chest and falls. Close your eyes. Notice how good you feel. It'll keep you returning to your mat. You can stay in Shavasana as long as you like. If you have an extra five or ten minutes, it's awesome. When you're ready to come out of Shavasana, simply roll to your right side, hugging your knees into your chest. Use your strong arms to pull you up to a seat with your eyes closed. Take a couple moments to notice how good you feel. Bring your hands to heart center. Revisit your intention. You can keep it, or you can always start a new one. We bring our hands to our forehead, thumbs to forehead center, and we bow to the light inside each other as we say, Namaste. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again next time.